welcome to Strange New Worlds. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Welcome to my ready room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful ready room. I've seen it multiple times yeah. on your Astro vlog that you have. That's right. No fish tank. No fish tank, right. But, yeah, that's okay. We, yeah. can draw, we can draw a fish on the board. Are you good at drawing? Because I'm not. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> here, there's my fish. That's a beautiful fish. Thank you. I'm with Jim Davenport, who is actually, I want to make sure I get this right. So you are a research scientist. I'm a research scientist here at the University of Washington in okay. the Department of Astronomy. Also, before we dive too far into things, I just also want to know, what is the official name of your Astro blog that I should Oh, this is a fascinating ask. question. It is just called Astro Blog. Okay. Okay. Um, which is a terrible title. Like I should actually give it a name. Uh, people ask me like, "What's the name of your YouTube channel?" And it's like, um, "This is my name," or Astroblog. <laughs> I don't know. It's. I mean, I really believe strongly in branding. Mm -hmm. So like, on websites, on projects, um, I'm not a big fan of acronyms, but I get it. And the thing that I have done the worst job branding is my poor vlog, which I'm like now that's the thing that I'm working on a lot. Yeah. And I've done a terrible job branding it. Astrovlog. Astrovlog. <laughs> Okay. And we are and we are filming the Astro Vlog version of the podcast at the same time right now. So, yes. So we'll compare whose microphone is better. Spoiler: Yours is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite captain? The knee jerk reaction: Picard. Okay. Favorite series? Uh, DS Nine. Yeah. Gosh, I think I have to say that. Yeah, DS Nine. Starship. Enterprise D. Planet. I guess Earth in the next gen slash DS9 series. Interesting. Yeah. I want to dig a little bit more on that. Why yeah. Why Earth? Because Star Trek is all about going beyond Earth and going to strange new worlds, but yeah. you said Earth. I like... I'm very curious. Yeah, I like... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. A, we live here, so there's hometown pride. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as a lot of people have said, how did, how did Frakes put it when he was quoting Roddenberry, that Every kid could read, nobody was hungry, nobody was wanting, right? There was this post-scarcity economy. And so I love this idea of like what our planet could be. And it took a long time for Star Trek to like visit Earth and give it like a more serious look. Like um, after Picard's incident with the Borg, he goes home to, uh, and, but home is this transient thing for him. He lives on a, on a, on a ship. And so he goes home to his brothers and his family's wine estate. And I love that. I love that he goes home to this like agricultural community, this rural place, which is kind of like where I grew up, and then sort of went to the big city, and and that really resonated with me. And I really liked, I always liked how San Francisco was portrayed, and I love that Starfleet headquarters was a waste treatment facility. That's the set they used for the waste treatment facility, um, just because it had a cool sort of sci-fi look, and probably was cheap to film there. <laughs> That's an awesome um, answer. Wow. Yeah. Did not expect that out of a lightning round, but... That's not very lightning, I'm, I'm failing. There you go, lightning. no, that's yeah. all good. It's a, it's a giant thunderstorm of <laughs> that's excellent a thunderstorm. thought. Yeah. <laughs>